And so now the Dutch Empire has expanded past their continents where they were born in, in the middle of lush Amsterdam. And now they have been expanding ever since, founding new continents with exotic different civilizations such as the Mayans, the Japanese and the Carthaginians. So that is the land or the continent which we are going to try to occupy next with our glorious army. So let's go ahead and start doing that. I think we have to head over into the next turn just yet. No, someone else needs orders. Okay. Who? Musket man. Okay. You can explore this through this fog of war. You should keep moving on. And let's head over to the next turn. Darius has completed the Big Ben. Oh, wow. He must be very, very advanced if he's gone to the Big Ben now. Venice no longer needs investors. Okay. Well, we don't... We, we were never going to invest in it anyway. Oh, and we can adopt a policy. That's cool. So, let's see what else we can get. Plus two happiness from each luxury resource. Or, plus one movement for naval units and plus one for naval combat units. A great admiral appears. Plus two movement for all great admirals. And this goes to plus three production for all coastal cities. I like protectionism a lot more because, especially because we had problems with happiness before but look at that that just helps out so much it gave us so much more happiness all right that's a big big help so you guys should keep on moving down south just tell our whole army if we can there we go okay we're moving ahead slowly at surely but we'll get there soon i just need my settlers where are they here they here are those bastards you guys need to keep on keeping on. Okay, we're gonna have to get here slowly. Let's just tell you to come up here. Nine moves. Okay, it's gonna be quite a while, but okay. We can do that with the nine moves. We have, who are these? Oh, these guys are the musket men. This land is just so perfect. Just, I think don't think Tokyo is gonna expand anymore, but yeah. Who's over here? Oh, it's interesting how the Mayans have place the city over here it's very interesting because th this is where the main area is over here they place the city probably really annoying the Japanese so probably gonna be a bit of warfare through that decision and keep on moving our army can we I want to get through the moves a lot quicker I think I blabber on too much I've, I'm it's actually also good that I've been learning a lot more so by the time I get to the Swedish campaign where I try to do that I think I'll be doing a lot better. Sweden needs investors. Not Sweden, sorry. Singapore. Actually, Singapore's over here, so maybe we could get a bit of uh, a good use out of them. Huh. Uh, what What are they good at? What's that? Mercantile. They seem to be rather irrational, which I don't like. They have wine, though. Hmm. Let's just go back. Uh, you guys should keep on moving up. Tell our army to keep on moving down here. Alright, we're going to have a massive army as soon as we get here. And I really need to place a city so we can upgrade, so we can get cannons. Because we also have a fair bit of money. Let's go to diplomacy. Okay, so Darius isn't upgrading, like going up in that much in points anymore at all. Also, I probably should get the Circus Maximus more happiness. Just works out all that much better as well for our people. Because I want Amsterdam just to keep on growing. Rotterdam's grown quite a bit. Gar has actually grown a lot. It's going to actually catch up to Rotterdam. What else is going on? Utrecht is going pretty good. We're going to have the Sea Beggar soon, which is the special Dutch unit. You're going to be producing a knight. Nice. I like the way everything's going over here. I really do. Just the hardest thing for us right now was to find... I just need orders though. These musket men. Okay. I'm going to probably tell these musket men just to uh, capture that little tile. Even though I'm just going to tell them to stay there. Persian coup. And install their own supporters to become the new ally of the city-state. Ooh. Goddamn Persians. So we're not allied with Sydney anymore. That no, doesn't really bother me. Those, the allies don't really help me out that much anyway. Oh, Utrecht. Utrecht needs maybe a 
Hmm. What can we keep on working on? I think maybe a university, maybe? I think university would help out. Plus our science advisor is telling us that science will help us out. We want to be very advanced. So let's get our C bigger. Five moves, that is really, really good. And so we've got a couple of different bonuses. Like the Coastal Raider bonuses. So that's pretty cool. Let's have a closer look at it. Not the best angle, but it seems pretty powerful. Um, I'm going to tell it to... Um, you know what? I'm actually going to tell you just to come back up here. Ten moves. That's pretty quick. But you can move like five moves a turn as well. So that's a, quite a big help. Alright. Also, someone keeps on telling me to do show Q. I think show Q by that you mean like... Um, either for science like to queue your things up but I actually excuse me I personally like to choose what I um, get each time or you could mean buildings like show you what buildings oh great barrier reef cool wow the great barrier reef actually increases a lot of things wow it's actually a rather important tile like if you find it just keep on telling our guys to keep on moving on if we can't next turn I actually want to see the Great Barrier Reef where it's over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's cool. I like how the Great Barrier Reef is only one tile, but that would make it overpowered though if it was more. But still. And we're getting close to settling as well. Actually, we might even settle before we'll be able to move in our army there, which is cool. But as soon as we get there, I need to upgrade my trebuchets into cannons. So we've got a bit more oomph up there. You guys should go up here. There we go. Got to watch out for Zurich. What does Zurich want? Do they want anything? Ah, gold gifts are temporarily more effective. Okay, we've got lots of gold as well. So let's pledge to protect. Okay, and give a gift of 500 gold. So we're friends right now. Um, do they want anything? Or at least they're friends right now. We want to be allies with them, though. Hopefully that money wasn't a waste. Hopefully it won't be. Uh, but we do want to get on good terms with Zurich. We don't want them to hate us. Although I think our muskermen are a lot stronger than pikemen, you'd think. So it's telling us to please wait. Come on. I'm waiting. And I remember at the very start when Civ 5 came out. Oh, Amsterdam and Istanbul. Oh, that's important. It's good that you guys actually did that. Oh, what's over here? A private privateer. We better actually watch out. Thankfully, they haven't placed any cities near us here, and it doesn't seem like they will, but I do have to watch out. How are our other cities going? Everything's connected nicely. It is indeed. And we're going to have a courthouse, so that's going to raise happiness as well, which is a big help. Who else needs orders? You need orders. You can explore the inland over here. Okay, so we're going to have a nice area um, filled with many different things. You guys should keep on moving up. There we go. Okay. I like how we have like a massive navy. It looks really cool. Oh, you can actually move your camera using the left mouse button, clicking it. Sweet. Uh, you guys have used your moves, haven't you? So we'll have stone right next to us. We'll have fish tiles, D tile as well and sheep if we can capture this area I'm gonna probably move our guys up here it's just I think it's all gonna be closed off over here okay so I think Carthy drones all this area as well who else needs orders oh you need orders you have one more move fair enough oh, and you have three sorry there we go that wasn't that hard actually can you still move yeah, you can you're the most important unit that we've got actually Oh, and they've got lots of marshes as well. Cool. Alright, let's get back into the next turn. Is Zurich seems to be a religious... Um, actually, no, no, they're not. They, what are they? They're a mercantile um, city-state. I thought they were religious because of that little sign. But they're into Christianity. So, Doge William of the Netherlands. Why does it say Doge? Wasn't that Prince William? Not really sure, but it's lagging back up. Wait, let me be 